why, why did the opposition not fall, fall in with the pay cut that the MP, the ministers did? But well, have we not yet? You know, the opposition parliamentary party only met yesterday. And in fact, the opposition parliamentary party is prepared to take a pay cut on condition that the government recognizes the scale of the problem and stops the partisan spend. Our pay cut for 14 members is minuscule in comparison to the $4.5 million that is being spent in partisan spend for catering for summer camps. The government must stop that. It must stop the $5 million in constituency councils and the David Thompson football tournament. And if we can get those things, then the opposition, like everybody else, is going to bear its share of the burden. But do not be distracted by red herring. And it's not even good red herring. So how do you react to the situation? I'm not sure if you're aware of it, and I'm trying to understand it. But in Nevis, which is also under IMF, they're looking to give their civil servants a pay raise. St. Kitts has given, announced a 10% pay increase. They went into an IMF program, they've come out more or less much healthier. The sacrifices made by the conditions led to a meaningful improvement, such obviously that the Prime Minister clearly feels that he can afford a 10% pay increase for them. Now, I'm saying to you that when you ask these 3,000 people to go home, What's going to happen when you're going to meet back in this room in three months' time to hear that the reserves fall again and to hear that government owe way more money and can't find anybody to finance it and that the central bank is still printing money? And what does Moody say here? In clear, clear, clear terms, Moody's could downgrade the rating further if international reserves continue to decline and or the government continues to rely heavy on short-term debt and central bank financing. Do you know that this government, the central bank, has provided 50% of the short-term financing to the government this year since April through printing of money?